2 Peter 2 and verse 13 now. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls and heart, meaning a mind, they have exercise with covetous practices. Cursed children, the Bible says. Verse 15, 2 Peter 2 and 15. Which have what? Forsaken the right way. The way that the, the family who came from those farmers, that illustration I gave earlier, the way that how they got down and made their livelihood, the way that they worshiped their God and served their God is the same way that their descendants should be doing. So the scripture says here in 2 Peter 2 and 15, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bazor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. So the powers that spoil God's people, the powers that should not be, who hold sway, they would incentivize and they would crush that family of Israel to become so dependent upon the world system or the economic system to where they'll never allow you to, uh, not if they can help it, never allow you to worship the true living God and have the resourcefulness of the things in this world to build up what? To build up, to, to build your family up, to build your own kingdom up. Because by, by them allowing you to build yourself up and to be self-sufficient and serve the true living God, that threatens what? Their kingdom. Why? Because a kingdom needs servants. So they need people to serve. So in our kingdom, the righteous who make it will serve in our kingdom. And a righteous, and there will be no wickedness and no evil. Okay? But in, in their system... They're like, well, listen, they, they don't want their sons and daughters out there. They, they're absolutely, they're like madmen, if I can say it. Why? Because power absolutely corrupts. So man, um, until man become perfect, does not know how to deal with power. That power corrupts them. They become greedful and greedy. And then they pervert judgment. And so in doing so, they're not going to put their sons and daughters out in harm's way. They're going to put the draft and take your sons, our sons and our daughters and send them off to war to other countries or whatever the case is. See? But yet, they'll, they'll through the programming, they'll put and they'll have this thing, oh, it's, it's this patriotism and so forth and so on. We got to come together. When in the, the particular the country that we live in, again, everyone for the most part is for themselves. Everyone. Every household is for their household. It's not equal grounds that we're like, okay, well, yeah, let us, you know, let us all get a, a, a leg that we could stand on. That's not how it is. So the most high is toppling the whole thing. So it says that the earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what type of person ought ye to be in holy conversation in holiness? Verse 12, looking for and hastening into the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, we look for what? new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness verse 14 wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things I made it bold and underlining underlining this be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless so that's what the key is for the servants of the most high that's my job to help you all who care to listen and take heed to what the Most High says is to be found without spot or wrinkle. Now in doing so, let me share this with you. In doing so, oftentimes, dear family, 
I find myself battling uh, in the unseen realm. Let me show this to you now. And a lot what the Most High have given to me was confirmed through other witnesses. Now I want to I want to play this clip from our brother uh, Paisley the Hebrew. I recorded this here. Listen to this. Because while we watching, as we observing, it's so much stuff that we get that we gonna see. So because we exposing our eye gate. All right, but we gotta watch the prophecies. Watch the time. Said no man know of the day or the hour. All right, but elsewhere it reads it says. We know when the season's changing, though. There we go. So we might not know the day or the hour, but we can tell that we're closer to that time. Be watchful. We got to be watchful. Man, pray for me as I pray for us, man. Y'all got to understand, and, and if this is your first time tuning in to me and you got other people you listen to, if they, anybody who truly is serving the most, high, when, when we I don't, I don't want to put, sound like I'm, you know what I mean, saluting myself. Or not. Anybody that's serving the Most High, when they part their lips, listen, and when they do works for the Most High, man, they going to get attacked somewhere, man. It's going to be attacked somewhere. And I'm saying, I know we all get attacked, but it's a little different for the ones who's standing in, in the forefronts. You know what I mean? The ones who... who being seen and, and working and going through these highways and heads and declaring the word of the most high, man. It's a little different. It's a lot different. That's it. So the ones who are on the front, the forefront being seen, who are parting their lips to speak with the authority that the most high has given, they they go through it. For any of those that are seeking to follow the Most High and just hear insight, Brother Paisley the Hebrew gave a wonderful perspective. There's many Hebrews and there's people all about culture, the fringes, the head wraps, right? But yet, and I've stated this over and over, that's with holiness, dear family, like that's why the scripture says, seek peace with all men as much as possible and holiness without you should not see the face of the most high. But in the world that we live in, oftentimes, dear family, and this is the thing that, that, that grieves me, that pains me. This world, sinners are comfortable walking around in their sins, straight up. And all they would do in, a, in an instant is just tune you out. Guess what? But you're not going to tune the most high out. You cannot tune the most high out. 